I, I, and I'm still, I tell people about it, oh, that was you. You're your worst enemy. <laughs> <laughs> So, what shall we say then? If God is for us, okay. we don't need to um, grieve the spirit. We need or quench the spirit. Amen? Amen. We, um, so, I, I went on and I learned that um, not only are we battling against the principalities and powers, uh, rulers of the darkness today, spiritual hosts of wickedness, uh, the spiritual realm, but there is a... Uh, um, a lust in your flesh. And so I found this in, in Galatians, and some of the pastors already talked on it, about um, how um, there's a difference between flesh and spirit. We're a new creation, but yet we're still stuck in the body. So I'm going to read um, Galatians 5.16 down on through. I say then, walk in the spirit, and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against flesh. And, uh, and they're contrary to one another so that you do not do the things that you will. But if you're led by the Spirit, you're not under the law. Amen? Amen. Now, listen to this. Now, the works of the flesh, a person that's not saved, a walking zombie, because they're not alive either, right? Just zombies. Flesh. And it's, and it's impossible to please God if you don't have faith, right? Wow. Okay. So, now, the works of the flesh are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness. Well, if you're like me, you had a real problem understanding lewdness and cleanliness. What was that? So let's go to a different translation. Let's go to NLT. He says, when you, um, when you follow desires of your sinful natures, you'll live, or your lives will produce these evil results. Sexual immortality, which is the same, or morality. I'm sorry, <laughs> is, um, is uh, adultery, right? Um, fornication, impure thoughts, uncleanliness is the same as uh, eagerness for uh, lustful pleasures. Amen? Um, oh, no, lewdness is eagerness for lustful pleasure. And so on. But, okay, listen. Um, um, Idolatry, um, participation in, and I know idolatry. <laughs> Woo um, uh, partic I'm a little nervous. I'm used to having that guitar. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, participating in uh, dynamic activities, which is sorcery, hostility, which is hatred, quarreling, contention is the same as contentions, jealousy, outbursts of wrath, which is outbursts of anger, selfish ambitions. Amen impure thoughts, and so on, all right? Envy, drunkenness, wild parties. And of the like of which I tell you beforehand, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. So here it is. I've got, I've got all these things that my flesh, I've been doing for 35 years, whatever this flesh, whatever I thought was right, and that's what I was doing, entertaining my flesh with no direction whatsoever. But finally, I got, I got filled with the Holy Spirit. I got saved by Jesus Christ, and, and I'm a new creation in Him, and He's beginning a new work in me. I am His workmanship, created Christ Jesus, uh, right? Amen? Amen. 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 So, um, and He wants to bring forth that love, joy, Peace, long-suffering, goodness, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. Against such is no law. Amen? And listen to this. This is really what clenches it. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh and its passions and desires. Are you Christ? You have to ask. Are we crucifying those passions and desires? Wow. You know? And, and if we live in the Spirit, let's also walk in the Spirit. Let's still be conceited, provoking one another. Amen? Amen. Now, so I found out, wow, that's some heavy-duty stuff. I mean, if I want to be led by the Spirit of God, I found out, well, hey, I'm somebody in the Lord. I have an identity in the Lord. Yes. And, I, and I found that in Ephesians um, 
It's loaded with identity. It's all through the Bible. It's loaded with identity, who we are. And I'm going to give you a few. Blessed be the God and Father who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Now, now these, in Christ Jesus, right? Now, these are eternal blessings. These are blessings that uh, we can overcome anything through by the blood and our testimonies. He's given, we can walk in his power, his might. We can walk in his truth, his righteousness, the peace that we got in him, the faith that he's given us. We put it in him, the salvation he's promised us, and of course the word and the promises. Amen? Praying. And, and he's chosen us in him before the foundations of the world. He's predestined us to the adoption of children by son. And I start, wow, this is who I am? Um, and and he's and and of course he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. We're holy and without blame. He's covered us in the blood of Jesus Christ. He sees us as holy. So I got a lot of catching up to do in order to see myself as holy. But he sees me holy because he's covered me with the blood. He's forgiven me I sent my sins. I have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Amen. And he's made me alive. You say this all the time. And you he made alive who are dead in trespasses and sins. Right? Where in time past you walked according to the course of the world, according to the prince of power of the air. Who is that? Devil. Yeah. Amen. Well, tired of uh, being under his control. Amen? Amen? Amen. He calls us the light of the world, the salt of the earth. Amen? Ambassadors, kings, and priests. Amen. That's how God sees us. And it's important for us to line ourselves up with him. To get sanctified through his word. Amen. That's what one thing really uh, is awesome about this program. We have memorization verses. And I notice a lot of these uh, scriptures that we have are promises. Amen. Amen. And here, here's some more. For as many as are led by the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. For you didn't receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Abba Father. Abba. The spirit himself, spirit is witness of our spirit. We are the children of God. And if the children of God, then heirs and joint heirs with Christ Jesus, if indeed we suffer with him. Amen. We're heirs with Christ Jesus. The things that Jesus has are ours. And he's given them to us. Amen. That's what we got to convey to everybody. All right, and um, so, yeah, uh, so yet in all these things, well, we're accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things, we're more the conquerors through Him who loved us. Yes. For I'm persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principality, nor power, nor height, nor depth, nor anything created, can separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. 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 Now, I want to give you a few promises that. Uh, you probably already know, but these are promises that we can stand on. These, um, the word truly is alive, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even uh, your soul and spirit and joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intent of your heart. Amen. Amen. It's true. <laughs> for God, repeat with me. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, who whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Here's another one. Jesus! Amen. That's a promise. Stand on the promises of God. Here's another. Ephesians 2, 4. But God, who is rich in mercy for His great love, wherewith He loved us, even when we are dead in sins, has quickened us together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen? Woo! Remember, you hear me saying, not only is he in us, but we're in him. Here's another one we have as a memorization verse is Romans 5.1. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We're no longer enemies, but he's our friend. Amen? All things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Amen? Are you called according to this purpose? Do you love God? He's working things. Not only my life, Pastor Ramones, everybody here, not only here, but everywhere. God, how awesome is our God. Amen? Let me give you a few more. And we learn these here. 2 Corinthians 
517. Anybody know it? Yeah. Therefore, if anyone is, everyone, anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Amen. Now, um, here's another one that, um, uh, you know, I was talking about the armor uh, of God. Now, what really hit me was when, is when I found out, wait, who is truth? Jesus. Yeah. Um, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. And whose righteousness? Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Listen to this one. Second Corinthians 5.21. For he, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might be the righteousness of God in him. Amen. Wow. He's a prince of peace. He is faithful. Amen. He's given us each a measure of faith. And he is salvation and he is the word. And the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God and all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. And him was life and the life was the light of man and the light shined in the darkness and the darkness comprehended and not. Amen? Amen. But there was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of that light. He was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of the true light, which lights every man that comes in the world. He's the true light. Amen? Amen. We, um, uh, we shine for him. He's shining through us. Amen? He's the true light, which lights every man that comes in the world. And he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave them power to become the children of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor the will of flesh, nor the will of man, but born of God. Amen. Amen. Here's one Stephanie knows. Philippians 1.6. Be confident of this, that he began the will of you will bring it to full Amen. Amen. And uh, one last promise. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Amen. Amen. So, so now, here we, we just went through, found out that Jesus Christ is our armor. So all we have to do is stand in Jesus. He's our armor. He is the truth, right? He is our righteousness. He is our peace. Jesus, we stand in faith. But I'll take that shield of faith, right? And we put him on and walk. And work out our salvation with fear and trembling, standing on the promises of God. Amen. He said to his disciples, "If anyone desire to come after me, deny yourself, pick up the cross, and follow me." Amen. Pastor Wall says in the soul winning many times, and he said to him, "Follow me, and I will make you." And in Ephesians five one, he tells us to be imitators of God as dear children. Amen. And, and uh, this is something else that Jesus said. He says, uh, Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and, and, and your strength. Amen? This is the first commandment. And the second is of the like. You shall love your neighbors as yourself. Amen? He, he taught us how to pray. He's given us everything that we need. Amen? All we got to do is learn how to get out of the way and let God be God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's another one. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. I and mean, I stand on this. Me and my wife stand on this. I know Pastor Walt, Miss Levine, and more. Uh, a lot of us that, uh, that trust the Lord, this is a promise. <laughs> trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. And all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Amen? Now, how, how many of you already knew these things? There's a lot of you. Amen? Now, let me ask you something. Because um, he says, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth not in us. But he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen? We all mess up once in a while. I wish I could always be walking in the Spirit, living in the Spirit. And that's what I love about this place. 
we do praise and worship from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun and then sun. Amen? And still mess up. <laughs> still, I have to ask for forgiveness. I'll be deceiving myself because I know the truth in me. And I know I fall short. I, am I loving my, my brothers the way I should? Am I, am I putting God first in everything that I need to do? Everything, am I putting him first in everything that I do? And being kind to my, my brothers and sisters the way I want to be treated, perhaps? Amen? I don't think so. Not all the time. I cut people short. Or not so, you know, that's just me. And he's working through me. But he's building each one of us. Day after day, it will be renewed day by day. Amen? Amen. And um, I just want to invite you guys to say a prayer with me. Um, just um, just to get right with them, you know, because we just heard the truth right now. And we know the way he wants us to be. He knows he wants us to walk in his power, his might, and his strength. And I want you to ask yourself, are we? Well, I'd like to, I know many of us, we might think we are, we are, but are we truly? If you're like me, you mess up, and you need to pray every once in a while. And I want you to follow me in this prayer, and it's real simple, and all of you say, I repeat after me, and say, Father, Father we thank you for your Son, you for Jesus, Jesus, forgive me my sins, Jesus. cleanse me of my unrighteousness, Jesus. come into my heart, be my Lord, my Savior, I want to be like you. I thank you for what you've given me. In Jesus' name. And everybody says? Amen. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. That was good stuff. Isn't that neat just to see how God's able to transform people? You know, Robert spent four years, or four, been in prison four different times. Amen. And he married the cutest little forger you ever did see. Isn't that amazing? All right, 15 minutes.